Gonna have some coffee, guys. Sorry, no coffee press here. Yeah. Up here. We go. Damn thing. That's what we're doing. Fire's cranking, it's real hot. We gotta cook up some bacon and stuff. But, uh, Get a little cup of coffee here. Better have the coffee in the morning, you know. <clears throat> All right. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah. This is the original cookser that I bought. I now made five. One, I just have to oil up the last one. But, uh, it's good though. It's pretty hot though. We had a good night. Um, I had to get up off and to go to the bathroom, which was a good thing because I kept putting wood on the stuff. So it was fine. I have to tweak the bed a little bit, very comfortable, I mean, it, the bed is nice, it's strong, it's pretty good. Um, I just gotta pull it out a little bit, or maybe up there, but it's a little cooler up there. I had that more blocked off over by the door before, but, uh, horny. Oh yeah, man, oh god, that's like a blood transfusion. I made this ceramic thing, bro. I have to put some fire brick up in here, but uh, that cracked. But uh, let me just uh, slow this down a little bit. But, uh, mm. damn, that's good. But, uh, yeah, we had a good night. Um, I'll show you after what I had there. I mean, I was definitely more than warm. I mean, nice and warm. Just a little, see the teepee slopes down like this and my bed was too close tucked in over there. So I have to pull it out a little bit or I can uh, pull it up a little bit, but I have to, it gets a little cooler over there, but I blocked that off last night I did. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, this is like, uh, there was some serious snow on there. I gotta get that off because we have more precipitation coming. So, um, I think if this was a square type shelter, it would break. Um, but the teepee, my grandson and I, put the frame up and uh, got willow in between and um, this was like an add-on but this is good because it's locked right into that tree there and uh, it's good and we had a nor'easter I, I would say we had at least 16 inches here but blizzard conditions which is not too bad but you know it's enough we had a little on the ground so east is that way Northeast is that way. So my door, as you've seen before, is the eastern white pine, pinus strobus. And uh, it blocked the main force of the snow and stuff coming in. Because my door was, you know, I didn't secure it like this too much. But uh, a little bit came in over here, but no big deal. But uh, I, I like the tree there. Also, the birds land there while you're sitting having a cup of coffee. But I'm not going to open it now because it's still a little chilly. 
actually it was kind of warm last night by a lot of people's standards it was uh 24 degrees which is warm um before the weather change and the snow and all that it was it was pretty cold single digits but uh that was not cold and uh the fire kept going you know it would go down low but uh there was no problem at all but uh i have like a against my body i have a uh, synthetic material that keeps you warm t-shirt over that and this is uh acrylic 100 percent keeps you warm and these are lined jeans so i knew it wasn't going to be too bad and it wasn't I didn't, I don't even have to wear my hat now, but, uh, in my vein, oh yes, but, uh, I'm bald, who cares, but, uh, no, nah, I don't have to wear the hat, it's an, uh, Irish wool hat, hair and hat, daughter got to me when she went to school in Ireland, so, oh, uh, this, this is good, man, cool, this particular coffee, I'm burning the bottom of my cooks, but that's all right. Mount Hagen um, instant coffee, which is fine. As long as you make it strong enough, it's fine, you know. But, uh, and I should be do starting very soon my uh, the maple sugar sap collection. Let's see how that goes. With all this business going on, we have to see. A lot of times I drive the truck, and then sometimes I'll stay in the sugar house and help. You know, help make stuff and bottle make sugar maple or you know maple syrup. But uh, I do a lot of collection. Mm. Man, that's good. But uh, I'm doing a lot of jaw jacking. But uh, it's daylight now, you know. So, what can I say? Let me get a pan, bacon. Muffin, and cheddar cheese, prefer cheddar cheese. I'm going to egg McMuffin without the egg. That's what I've had for years in the field. And uh, really tastes good. I'll fry it, get the bacon going and stuff. But uh, so. Oh, yeah some nice bacon here I do have a little ceramic piece on here and I may take that off we'll see Got the bacon yeah think let's see here one of my spoons here well oh, old Dexter fork here and then my Lansden and good now 1865 for real knife but, uh, yeah. And then we got, uh, for cheese, Cabot, seriously sharp. It's like a hunter's cheese. Cabot bluegill like this. Webster. Yeah. That's what we got here, man. And, uh, and then we have Thomas's English muffin. Finish things off. But what I'm gonna do excuse me. I have my little thing that goes on there, but this is not too bad. I'm gonna uh, I gotta get these off.
need them right now. I cracked it last night. Got some cheese here. Then uh, this spatula I made at Paul's, my my buddy who passed away. You know, I, I have like I have a lot of spatulas I made, real nice ones too. But this isn't anything fancy. I made it right at the camp. My burnt made it right there out of red pine. Little hatchet knife. You know, it's, uh, it's not anything fancy, but uh, it means a lot. You know, it's my reminds me of Paul. But uh, yeah, man, doing good here. Crank the stove up a little bit. Not sure where the most heat is. But uh, let's see. coffee we got some stuff here too yep um, and I got a uh, little banana bread also but, uh, so we'll cook this up and I'll uh, get back to you